Hi parents, today is lesson 100. I didn't teach the part about parallel line segments. So parallel line segments are two line segments that are like a railroad track. They don't ever meet. So I'm going to put two rulers together. They can go vertical or horizontal. So that is horizontal. Here are vertical, up and down. And here is oblique. Oblique is kind of like the letter X. Okay, so here is my whiteboard to show you that parallel lines never meet. So if they kept going up where the arrow is pointing up or down, they would never meet. They can go vertical, oblique, but if they cross each other, they are not parallel. So on this part of your assignment yesterday about the letters, they want you to color the um, capital letters that are parallel. So here is explaining you that these letters are parallel. So I'm gonna draw over the letter E and show you what letters don't touch. So here is the letter. These two lines are parallel, or this one can be parallel with the top line. On the letter F, the horizontal lines are par parallel. On the H, the vertical lines are parallel. And on the letter I, this is a capital I. The top two lines are the top line and the bottom line are parallel. On the letter M, the vertical lines are parallel. On the letter N, the vertical lines are parallel. On the W, it's the oblique lines. So here is this line and the middle line. Or I'll make another W and get a different color. So it could also be this line and the middle line could be parallel. On the Z, it's the two horizontal lines, the top line and the bottom line. On the other letters in the alphabet, I'll show you that these are not parallel. So there is nothing that's parallel on A, B, C, D, G, J, K, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, and V. None of them are not parallel. So let's go back over here and parallel line segments. So we know that the E is parallel. The F, the two horizontal lines. The H is and the I, the L and K, they are not parallel, but the horizontal lines on the M are, the horizontal lines on the N are, T doesn't work, U but W does. Remember, those are the oblique lines. I'm gonna put arrows on that so you can see it. The X, they cross, so that doesn't work, but the Z, it works. Okay, great. And on these ones, they want you to show which ones are parallel. Okay, so on two, if you were to extend this out, this line is parallel with the horizontal line on the bottom line. On three, you could have this one be parallel, and this horizontal line be parallel. You could also have the top line be parallel with the bottom line. So there's two choices there. There's also two choices on the square. Parallel, remember, is like a railroad track. It's two lines. Okay, and I will stop this so I can get ready to make another video for you about lesson 101.